Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay folks, well, um, not so light-hearted. Uh... Oi, stop, stop it. <laughs> anyway, so a couple of months ago, I found this sort of thing growing on my nose. Um, some people reckon it was a wart. I wasn't too sure. I left it for quite a few months actually. I knocked it off, picked it off a few times, it's grown back to the way it is now. It doesn't look too bad, but um, anyway, I went in the doctor's two days ago and she, I don't know whether it's because I've been picking it and it looked worse, but she reckoned it looked like it could be possibly uh, a form of skin cancer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty scary when someone tells you that. Uh, anything with the word cancer in it. Um, but I'm just waiting to, uh, for a call back. She took a, a picture of it and sent it to, uh, I guess, like a skin specialist. And um, I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Said within the next few days. So, and if I've not heard anything for the next few days, she said I can come into the doctor's surgery and make sure everything's okay. Um, <laughs> I like it. I like it how they just casually tell you it might be skin cancer. Um, I'm thinking, fucking hell, man. Well, <laughs> you know, anything can happen, but you know. But you know, I suppose however way you're gonna say it, like you know, it's not like in uh, films and stuff, is it? But um, yeah, it might not be skin cancer yet, so I'm hoping it's not. And I've read if it is, that there's certain types of skin cancer that are not so serious, and then there's certain types that are much more serious. So yeah, hopefully. When I get a call or go into the doctors, um, they tell me that, yeah, it's okay, it's just a, a walk or something, but, yeah, so, <laughs> I'm not going to upload this video until I find out what it is, because I don't want loads of people saying, oh, you've probably got skin cancer, it's made me worry even more when it's not, and I don't want to, so, yeah, anyway. Okay, folk. Okay. <laughs> okay, folks. It's a bit prickly on here with all these plants, but anyway, the main thing is I got the news today. I went to the skin specialist, and they reckon what I got is um, a wart, and it's not cancer, skin cancer, but. The doctor I originally saw thought it might could be skin cancer and I did look on Google as well It looked like a common form of skin cancer you get on the face or nose But yeah, the uh, skin specialist was pretty damn sure it was a wart. All she did was Take a look with it under the micro um, like a magnifying glass on my nose um, really quick and easy and um, Yeah, she's she's happy that it's not cancer I'm very, very happy it's not cancer and I, I absolutely feel sorry for anybody who gets uh, bad news that they got skin cancer but having said that yeah it's the type I thought I had is not the most deadly but still you do not want to get it um, and if you do see anything growing on your skin you, you know like places that get the sun or anywhere uh, get in touch with your doctor straight away um, so basically it's happy news for me um, but I want to say in this video is what I wear for sun protection um, these are my sun gloves um, obviously your hands get a lot of sun and I think it's possible to actually get skin cancer on your hands I'm not, I'm, obviously it's skin so yeah and it they obviously get exposed to the most sun so I'm wearing uh, sun gloves I don't like suntan lotion I don't think that's very healthy for you to be honest so I prefer to cover up but I'm guessing suntan lotion is better than being burnt to death um, but yeah cover up I think covering up is much better so for the hands for hands I'm using uh, sun gloves um, obviously wearing tra uh, trainers because it's summer and I'm wearing a light weight pair of uh, Maltane um, hiking pants 
they're really light, lightweight and they've got sun protection as well uh, so it's, I don't feel hot in them it's quite a hot, warm day today as well and I've got a lightweight um, top that's sun protected as well and I've got uh, these buffs so I can put these over my nose my face I can breathe through them really easy I feel totally comfortable with them on I've got one that goes around my neck as well to protect my neck because that's quite a common place for skin cancer as well um, also, uh, yeah, I've got the uh, baseball cap on, but I'm going to show you the ultimate in sun hat. Okay, folks, this is my uh, ultimate sun hat. I'll put a link in the description, and I'll put a link in the description for all my other sun gear and um, other information as well. Um, this protects your head from the sun. It protects the uh, sides. The sides of your head, the back of your head. Um, so it's got sun, uh, uh, a sun uh, protector that comes along the sides, the back, and then you've got this um, mesh type thing that protects your nose, your face, and you can cover it up up on your nose like that. Uh, so basically, I've got full, pretty much full bodily uh, sun protection now. Um, when you're in a, especially when it. Um, you know, British summers can be, actually be quite hot and that you burn really quickly. Um, so even if you're in the UK in summer, like seriously, you do not want to get skin cancer on your nose because if it's serious, you know, not only might you end up losing your nose, but you might um, end up dying. So yeah, as I said, if you um, spot anything on your skin, go to your doctor straight away cover up away cover up out the sun and if you don't like wearing clothes like this uh, put your suntan lotion on and even better stay out of the sun stay in the shade don't hike in um, the heat of the day wait to right to the end of the day but obviously that's not always possible you d i say the best sun protection if you have got to go out in the heat of the day hiking or whatever is cover up i think it's better than suntan lotion and it's also, I think, a lot more healthier as well. To sum it up, um, I first noted this, a growth on my nose uh, probably just before um, spring. So you're talking for probably like four months ago. Uh, it started off like a little bit hard skin and it actually looked like um, a white head, but it was like, you know, like hard skin. Um, some people said it looked like a wart, so I just left it. I didn't go to the doctors. Um, then when I was away last week in um, Scotland, I was picking it and stuff, and it was like scabbing up, you know? And I was thinking, hmm, is this because I picked it or it's just scabbing up because it's something more serious? And it just wasn't going, because probably because I was picking at it as well. And um, I thought, sod this, I'm, I'm going to have to go to the doctors. So I made an appointment with the doctors. I told them it was to do with my skin. It, I was a bit worried about something growing on my nose. And um, I had to wait two weeks to see the doctor. So yeah, I told them that I, could, yeah, I was worried about it being skin cancer. And I had to wait two weeks. And after the two weeks, I saw a doctor who, um, to be honest, I don't think she really was, she didn't really know much about skin like she was looking at google pictures of skin cancer herself and she was thinking that it could be skin cancer so then she uh, took a picture of my uh, nose sent it off to a clinic in uh, Oxford um, but that clinic never got back to me didn't bother getting back to me didn't even bother so yeah I was worried about that they could say oh we emailed us back saying you know what they think but you know just didn't bother getting back to me um then i got a call from the uh, my surgery and my, the doctor i saw made an appointment with their skin specialist which took another week another week to uh wait and then um eventually today i saw the skin specialist and she was very good actually she was really good really good doctor um, I told her like I was like I've been seriously worried about it for a long time. Uh, so only today 
you know, I thought I might fucking die or something, you know, you don't know, do you? So, anyway, she said it's a wart, she reckons it's a wart, so, yeah, get your skin checked. I should also say that I had a serious reason to believe that it was cancer because I've been in so many hot countries, I spent so much time outside in my youth, I used to sunbathe stupidly, um, sit on the beach in the baking hot sun, abroad as well, Brazil, Australia, quite numerous times I've been to Australia, um, hot countries, I've been to a lot of hot countries and spent a lot of time out in the uh, British summers as well, in the heat of the summer, um, doing out, you know, I love the outdoors and I've not always put suntan lotion on or covered up and I really regret that now because uh, I've, got, I've got a lot of skin damage, I can see it, but and again, I'm just so thankful it's nothing serious I got this time and hence why I cover up now, I don't, don't mess with the sun man, seriously, I mean even if you're young, a young person, you can get it at any age, even if you haven't got as much sun damage as me, you can uh, get skin cancer. And I don't really want to worry people, it doesn't mean to say everybody's going to get it obviously, but there's always, it's quite high, it's a very, um, skin cancer on your face is really common, Let's just put it that way, it's very common. Uh, but this, normally the type of skin cancer you get on your face is very survivable, it's not uh, from what I've read. Um, obviously I'm not an expert so I'm not going to give you any advice on that, you have got to see your doctor, as I said. Um, but check out my links in the description for um, the gear I'm wearing now. Um, I'm just happy that it's nothing serious and thanks guys for watching. And my heart goes out to anybody who's uh, suffered from cancer or has family that suffered from cancer or friends. Um, my heart goes out to you guys.